What's up everyone? What's going on? Uh, John here, the founder of Get to Know It. Uh, Get to Know It is a platform where you can be able to get free IT skills. So IT skills are now required in every field that everyone is, whether basic or advanced. And so uh, Get to Know It is a platform where you'll get these skills and that will help to make you more productive in whatever that it is that you are doing right now. So I usually release uh, a video twice a week, that is Tuesday and Thursday this and uh, i always make sure that the video that i'm releasing uh, is one that will help you and will really make you more productive so enough of the intro today's video is all about sharing tips and uh, tricks and i'll be sharing with you five uh, cool uh, tips and tricks that will make you more productive in whatever that it is that you are doing with outlook and having said that and though so much ado let's get into outlook and let's get this started Shall all right and our first tip is automatically file an email do you know that you can be able to easily file emails in outlook yes it is very very easy you just need to create some subfolders and then you use the rules to automatically uh, file the emails that you want into those subfolders so without so much ado let's get it to outlook and let's see how we go about doing this all right so here i am in outlook and um i am in my inbox and the first thing that i need to do is uh, to create a folder i need to create a folder where uh, the emails will be moved to where the emails will be filed so i'll just come and right click the inbox and then i say a uh, new folder so i'll be given an opportunity to uh, give the subfolder a name so i'll just come and call it uh, filtered emails just come and call it uh, uh, filtered emails you can give it any name that you want and then you're going to see that folder appear here now the next thing that you need to do is to create a rule that will move uh, the emails to that subfolder but the first thing that you need to always make sure that you do is that you know uh, the specific email that you want to uh, target so for example i want to file these emails that are coming from this recipient john so i'll just come and target one email or i pick one email from this recipient i right click it and then i go to rules and then i come and pick the first option here that leads always move messages from john so we are simply saying that when outlook gets an email from this sender it should move it to uh, the newly created subfolder so just come and click that so uh, upon clicking that now outlook will uh, ask me to choose the folder so i'll just come and choose the folder and then i just come and say okay so any email that is also existing right now from this uh, specific sender it will be sent or moved to that uh, subfolder and now from today moving on any email from that sender uh, will be filed in uh, this specific um, subfolder so if you want again now to come and pick another setter you can just come and pick like for example you want to be filing the emails from this uh, sender to another uh, folder so you just simply come and create a subfolder and then you just come and like click the email that you have already received from that sender and then you create a rule that says move always move uh, these uh, emails from this sender to this specific folder that's very very easy all right so i hope that is very very cool and you're going to apply it uh, as you use your so the next tip is all about how you can be able to use uh, favorites uh, to make your active folder appear on top of the navigation bar So the next tip is all about how you can be able to use uh, favorites to keep your active folder on top of the navigation pane. Alright, let's get into Outlook and let's see how you can be able to do that. 
okay so we've already created a subfolder here and let's assume that this is one of our active uh, folders that we always use so we want to get it out of the noisy subfolders that we have here so we can use favorites to just remove it here uh, and place it on top here for ease of access because you could have created uh, different subfolders here uh, that makes it very hard for you to always pick uh, that uh, subfolder that you use more often so the way you can be able to do this is just uh, go to the folder uh, or to the active folder rather right click it and then you come and say add to favorites and then you come and say add to favorites and what you're going to see is that that folder will be moved to the favorites but still you can be able to see it in in its original location but an easier uh, location to access uh, you'll also find it in an easier it will also be placed on top of the navigation pane here so that you can be able to access it easily all right hope that is cool uh, and that's it for that tip let's move to the next tip and see what it's all about and in our next tip is all about how our next tip is all about and in tip 3 is all about how you can be able to use shortcuts to become more productive in Outlook. Research has shown that if you use shortcuts when you're using a computer, in whichever program that you are in, you become more productive, you'll be able to complete tasks very, very fast. So uh, in this video, I'll be sharing with you a few uh, keyboard shortcuts that you can apply in Outlook so that you can uh, become more and more productive. All right, let's get into Outlook and let's see these shortcuts. Alright, so the first shortcut that I'll show you here is one that can help you to uh, create a new email. One of the uh, common uh, tasks that you'll be performing in Outlook uh, is sending uh, emails. And it's always uh, uh, very easy to be able to create a new email because you just go to home and then you create a new email. But do you know that there is an easier way uh, that you can be able to go about that? Yes. So on your keyboard, you can just come and press Control plus Shift plus M. So that is Control plus Shift uh, plus M. And that will automatically uh, help you to uh, create a new email. Yeah, so what will basically happen is that uh, when you click the control plus shift plus M, it will automatically open uh, the mailbox. So it will automatically open the message box. And here, of course, you can now be able to easily uh, come and uh, send your email very, very easily. Uh, one of the, um, the other shortcut that you can also use uh, is the control plus N. So let's see what will happen when you place control plus N and that will also help you to do the same thing so uh, we have two shortcuts that can help you to create a new image so you can place control uh, plus shift plus m or you can simply click control plus n but let's assume that you are in a calendar and then you just come and click the control plus n so this now will not help you to create a new email rather it will help you to create a new item but let's try the control plus shift plus m and see what will happen so you see so that is the difference so if you're not in the out if you're not in the mail because as you know you can be able to switch from uh, mails uh, to calendar to people to task and all that so if you're in mail then here you can just use the control plus n to uh, create a new email but if you are not in the mails like you are in calendars in this case the uh, control plus n shortcut will not work because in this case it will be helping you to create an item within the calendar so the only shortcut that will work in this case if you want to create a new email is the control plus shift plus uh, n I mean M control plus shift plus M all right so that's the first shortcut and the second shortcut that I'll be sharing with you here is one that can help you to create a new subfolder in our first tip we said that you can be able to automatically uh, file 
emails so in this case you'll be required to create some some folders um, you can do that by just right clicking and selecting new folder but if you're on your keyboard and if you want to do this very very fast you can simply just uh, come and click uh, control plus shift plus e control plus shift plus e and what that will do is that it will open the uh, create new folder um, dialog uh, window and here you can type the name of the folder and you can also come and select in which folder uh, you want to drop that subfolder in all right so you don't have to leash that mouse to be able to get to these various uh, components of outlook you can simply use keyboard shortcuts to do this so how can you be how can you be able to do this it's very very easy let's assume you are in calendars and you want to get back to the emails you just come and click Control plus one and that takes you back to uh, to the emails if you want to go to uh, the calendar you just click control plus three yes and you guessed light if you want to go to people you just click control plus three and that takes you to to the contacts uh, if you want to move to the next component it's control plus four and that will take you to uh, the to-do list or my tasks all right hope uh, that helps all right so the final shortcut that i'll be sharing with you here is one that can help you to reply to an email one of again the most common things that you'll be doing in outlook is replying to emails how can you easily reply to an email using a keyboard shortcut it's very very easy just come and click control plus l control plus l yes and that will and and that will help you to reply to the selected it will help you to reply to the selected email so if let's say for example i want to come and reply to this email i'll have to come and select it and then um, i can just come and click control plus l control plus l so of course you can use the navigation allows on the keyboard to move to whichever emails that you want to reply to then you come and click control or press control plus um, l and that will help you to reply to that specific uh, email all right and those are the various shortcuts that you can use in outlook of course i know they are very very many let me know in the comments below the shortcuts that you use in outlook so that we can share this knowledge all right enough of that let's move on to the next tip all right so the next tip is all about how you can be able to easily create appointments uh, create contacts uh, create tasks uh, by just using the emails that you have received what do I mean? You can be able to create an appointment by just dragging an email into the calendar and an appointment uh, concerning that email will be created. Let's get it to Outlook and see uh, what this means. Alright, so uh, here we are in Outlook and um, we want to create an appointment based on a certain email. So I'll just come and pick a random email here. So I'll just come and uh, select this and then I'll just come and drag it to the uh, calendar just like that so uh, what will happen is that um, uh, the appointment uh, widow uh, will appear so appointment widow will appear with that specific email so let's say the email was about uh, doing something on a certain specific uh, day so i can now be able to just come and uh, create um, that appointment uh, using that specific email without having to type a lot without having to take a lot of times doing this and that all right so uh, that is it and you can also be able to so i'll just cancel that you can also be able to create a contact from that specific email so let me just also come and pick um, a lot of email here like this one and then i just come and drag it to the contacts i just come and drag it to the contacts and um and what will now happen is that uh, the contact uh, window will appear and it has automatically auto filled the important uh, uh, fields so you can just come and fill those uh, fields that i want to fill and then i just come and save and close that isn't that easy and of course the information about that email will also be viewed on the notes section 
so on the load section i'm going to see the details of that specific email uh, even as i uh, create uh, the contact isn't that cool so just come and cancel that and we can also be able to come and pick another one and maybe try to drag it to the to-do list and again as you can see we are able to create uh, that um, a task uh, easily by just dragging the email onto the task all right so again i'll just cancel that hope these are things that you are going to apply uh, as you use outlook so that you can become very very fast you can complete tasks uh, very 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 fast and to our last tip is all about how you can be able to send a team email so a team email is where you are sending one message to a team of people and maybe you do this on a daily basis or more often say weekly say even monthly so how can you be able to make this easy so that it is just a click and that message is sent to the recipients so uh, it is very very easy so in outlook what you just need to do is to first of all uh, create contacts and as i showed you you can be able to easily create uh, contacts in um, in outlook and um, the, the very easier way to be able to do that uh, is to just come and pick uh, the recipients that you have uh, in your in your machine so you just come and uh, pick them and drag them to uh, the people and um, as you're going to see the contact will be created so maybe we can just come and save and close so what we are basically doing right now is uh, creating a contact so creating contacts and uh, i'll just come and pick another one here and then i'll drag it to that so let's assume those are the two people that i want to send an email or i want to create a contact uh, to um, so what i'll now just do is head on back to home and then i just come and say team email so that is under quick steps team email and then you're going to see this uh, first time setup appear you can just come and give it a name in my case i'll just leave it as it is and then in the new message uh, two just come and click this and then come and select the two recipients that you have created all the rest of recipients that you have created and then you come and click these two so the recipients will be added here or the contacts will be added here so just come and say okay and then you just come and say uh, save right so now if you want to uh, send an email to that team all you'll be required to do is to uh, go, go, come to home come to home and then you just come and click the team email and you're going to see those recipients appearing here of course you can be able to remove any recipients that you don't want uh, to to appear in that list or you can also be able to add any recipient uh, who was not added initially and then you just come and have your email and then you just come and said hope that uh, makes sense and you are going to apply it in uh, your next uh, uh, the next time you use outlook all right and those are the five uh, cool tips that you can apply in outlook so that you become more productive if this was helpful kindly click that thumbs up uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe so that you can receive these and uh, more videos uh, uh, in future and you know so much i do hope that was helpful see you the next one and stay safe and don't forget to wash your hands